Hi friends, welcome back. Appreciate all your comments and emails. We'll keep producing videos as we have the opportunity to do so. Now today we're going to test the Fast Align uh, 5100 Pro by Lexium. Unpacking the Lexium Fast Align 5100 Pro. Inside the little box, we have a Lexium data satellite finder. Incidentally, on the satellite finder, you need to make sure that you open up the case and plug in your battery. They're shipped with the batteries unplugged. So plug in the battery, then plug in your power cord and charge it for 24 hours. Then uh, your meter comes with a power supply and charger. Here's the AC power cord. It also comes with a 12 volt charger. Meter comes with a lanyard. Your instructions on how to run the meter. It comes with a USB connector, cable and connector, and it comes with dual F81s. All right, friends, we're going to plug in the battery, show you how that's done. Remove the plastic covering, set that aside. And the way you open up the meter is this plastic cover here is for safety and protection of your own meter. You pop this little plastic from the bottom side open like that by while pressing at the back here with your fingers gently remove that by the way your meter has two inputs here this uh, side on the right hand side goes to your satellite and this can go directly to your satellite receiver so you can also preview what you're doing and also your meet your satellite receiver can power your meter in case you you go dead and also power the LMB. Now let's turn this over. There are two tabs here that you can flip down, open the little tab, grab the cable and plug that in directly to the plug that's provided there for your battery. The reason why they, sh they ship them like this is to protect the batteries from blowing up and they're also uh, shipped via air lines. So they have to be unplugged by, by law. Now you have to line your two connector ends here and slide this into its case. And there you go. Your meter is ready for testing. Okay, friends, we're going to turn on the meter now. And when you first turn on your meter, you'll notice that it gives you no readings over here. In order to access the channel line, I mean all the satellite lists, just press and hold the option key until it beeps and there you go. Now it gives you a list of channels. First of all, you want to make sure that you enter your longitude and latitude for your area. The way you do that is you press the zero button and hold it until your cursor moves over to longitude and you enter your peri perimeters there. To move the east to west, just press one of the buttons and it'll move over and when you're done, Go ahead and save that information. You'll follow that, those instructions in your guide. Here's a list of satellites and the frequencies. All you have to do is scroll left or right. You notice I'm down here on the lower left-hand corner. That will tell you which satellite you're in by longitude. So if you want to get 97 west, I need to drop down to 97 west. See all those satellites are there from 87, 89, and I just keep scrolling up until I hit 97. 97 west, I'm gonna use the horizontal frequency. Now, I have already programmed a transponder symbol rate uh, into the meter, and that is over here by pressing my option key. I have all my settings already preset. It gives me my elevation, my polarity, and there's a little formula that you use for your degrees to calculate your uh, azimuth. So now all you do is press, say, the number key, 
and it'll load up your meter. It shows you that uh, we have our signal of 28.5 decibels and uh, my signal to noise is 11.7, 11.6. That's pretty good. All right, uh, what we're gonna do is go outside now and uh, put the meter to work and see how that uh, locks in. All right. Okay, we'll proceed by firing up the meter. There it goes. I have already selected my transponder and programmed it in. I'm at uh, 97 West. I'm at 97 West. You have a whole list of uh, satellites in here that you can choose from. Um, so let's go ahead and press the number three on the keypad so it opens up the scanning uh, capability of the meter. I'll start rotating the dish and see if I get a lock. Oh, there we go, getting. Okay, I have a lock signal now. There's a lock display on the uh, meter right there. Right now I have uh, 19.9 decibels. Move it back and forth, it's still locked. I have good signal there. All right, I'll tighten the back of the dish. All right, now let's see what happens by adjusting the LMB. See if I can get this strap out of here and see if I can have any impact. Oh, there you go. My signal to noise ratio went up to 9.7. Yeah. 10. Looks like 10.7 is my best gain. The elevation. So there you go. That was quite rapid. I had, I had only set the elevation on my dish. I hadn't set the LMB. And I got uh, signal to noise. 10.6 uh, looks like I have a loose connection here on my connector We're back on very good well I'm impressed I like the meter I hope you guys like it you can find these at uh, idealsatelliteservices.com thank you